How, how often are you doing this? How often? Yeah. You mean how long I've been driving? How long have you been driving these so, refugees to Canada? Well, since they opened the border. There is a crisis right now at Canada's southern border. Thousands of migrants pretending to be refugees, but really they're mostly men traveling unaccompanied from the Middle East into Canada by foot, where our RCMP are essentially leading a catch and release program. So this is happening. The Rebel.media has gone down to the border. We've reported and brought you explosive and exclusive footage and credit where credit is due. The mainstream media has picked up on not necessarily our coverage, but at least the fact that this crisis is happening right now. But here's the thing. It seems that they can't help themselves from dragging President Donald J. Trump into it. They keep on saying that our refugee crisis is somehow a result of people running away from Donald Trump. But you know what I noticed in all of their coverage? No one's quoting the refugees. They're just telling you what the reason is why all these people are flocking to Canada, but not quoting the people who are actually committing this illegal act. But guess what? We at the Rebel.media did talk to the refugees. We actually asked them why they're coming to Canada and if indeed they were fleeing scary Mr. President Donald Trump. So I want to share some of that footage with you. Let's start off with a family uh, man, a woman, and their uh, child who say that they came from Turkey but were teaching in Ethiopia. And guess what? Were they fleeing Trump? No, they were just tourists in America. Yeah. Why are you leaving America? We are teachers in Turkish schools, so in Ethiopia. So, so why are you leaving America? We were tourists here only. You were only tourists? Yes. So in, in America we are only tourists. So why are you going to Canada? <laughs> For our life. <laughs> Sorry. How long have you been in uh, America for? Four or five days only. And again, when pressed, is it Donald J. Trump that you're running from? They said, no, it's Turkish President Erdogan. But there's a problem with Erdogan and uh, Turkish schools. So Ethiopia, we will send us to Turkey. So it will be very big problem for us. We, d we don't want to go to back to Turkey. But, but, but you're, you're not in Turkey anymore, you're in America now. Yes, I know, but... Uh, we want to go to Canada. Then there was a fake refugee from Eritrea, and we asked him how long he had been suffering in Donald Trump's America before deciding to just illegally come into Canada. Ten days. When did you come to America? Okay. Uh, I came to America uh, in order to cross to Canada. So when, when did you come? What day? How long? Before 10 days. And his reason for coming? Was it President Trump? <laughs> no. He was just dodging the military draft in Eritrea. This time, I, I, I was with the National Service Team, uh, with the National Service, uh, but... You know what happened? Uh, they're turning back. Service. But then we did what good journalists do. We asked him again, are you absolutely positive you are not running from President Trump? Here's what he said. You you wanting to, to leave America, does that have to do with Donald Trump? No, I'm not concerned with the politics. I don't know more politics. And then there were illegal border jumpers, like this man from Saudi Arabia, who said, Trump's America's just fine. He just prefer Canada. Why do you want to go to Canada? Because I want to go to Canada, that's all. What's there for you? I just want to go to Canada, that's all. I can't see yeah, anything eh? else. So, do you have any wife or children? No. No? Uh, actually, uh, not, I'm not, I don't like to stay in America, but I want to go to Canada, that's all. So, mainstream media, survey says, None of the refugees buy your fake news. None of the refugees are echoing your made-up narrative that they're fleeing Donald Trump. Maybe the reason why they're coming into Canada is because our Prime Minister invited them. For the Rebel.media, I'm Faith Goldie. If the border crisis ticks you off, head to guardtheborder.com.
and sign our petition.